Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to replace windows in apartments in The Sims 4 using the Twisted Mixies mod and it will end up looking something like this. I really do recommend this mod, it is so good and it is so easy to work with but I understand that things like this can be so intimidating to first start off with so I'm just going to show you the best way to do it. So first things first, we're going to start by making sure we have our cheats on. So if you just have the tool mod, then make sure you have on BB.move objects because this is going to help a lot. And if you have the better build by mod, then make sure you just have testing cheats true on um, because you do not need to have BB.move objects on with that. As you can see down here, if you have better build by, you can just select move objects on. So as you can see, I have replaced this window with the one from the machine pack and now I'm going to do the exact same over here and replace this one. So the first thing we want to do is click shift T and this is going to bring up our tool extension. Now with this, you're able to do several things. You can move, you can elevate, you can rotate, you can scale. And if you go into options, you have a whole bunch of other things here like groupings. Now, the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to select the window and it should be highlighted green. And then you can do a few things here. So you can actually just select delete group and that will just completely get rid of the window. But if you don't want to do that and maybe you want to sell this window so you still want to have it, then you can do that as well. You're just going to click on the window and then you are going to click on the floor and it's just going to kind of appear randomly floating on the floor and then you're going to select it and then if you go off of the mod, if you click on shift T once again, you can actually just sell it and do it completely up to you how you want to do this another thing you can do is if you select the alt key and click on this and then click on this this actually selects both of them so if you wanted to delete both windows then that is something that you can do but today i'm not going to be deleting both windows i'm just going to be deleting one so now that we've deleted that window i'm actually going to get rid of this curtain just so it's a little bit easier for you um, to see what's going on so the easiest way i have found to do this is we're going to get our windows i'm using this one from the machine pack just because i think it's so gorgeous and as you can see, because I have BB.move objects on, I can just place it in the middle of the room and, you know, it looks a little bit weird, but, you know, it works, it's there. Now we're going to click Shift T and we're going to grab our window. And because it's selected with the tool mod, if we now click here, it will just place. Now I find it's easier to do it from the outside and I'm going to show you exactly why it's easier, but just make sure you've got it in the position you want. This can be a little bit fidgety, so just you know work it until it's somewhere that you want it to be so if you want your window to be here then that's fine now as you can see there's a little bit of clipping and it's kind of like out you know it's not fully in the window and this is completely normal this is fine nothing to worry about so i'm going to show you how to fix this so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your mod up and you're going to click on the window so that's highlighted green now you're going to hold in the alt key and you're just going to start clicking and this scoots the window over so what i'm doing is i'm just holding an alt and then i'm clicking on the floor and because i'm clicking on the floor it's dragging the window in and because it's dragging the window in it is placing it right inside of that wall so that it's sitting completely normally as you can see it's still out a little bit so we can just keep going with that the reason I say to put it on the outside is because it's a lot harder to scoot it if you're doing it here because there's not a lot of room to do that, um, I can show you. But it's a little bit harder, like you, you can't really scoot. It's very like fidgety to do it and yeah, I just don't really like it. So I do recommend um, going from the outside and then just scooting it inwards because it is just so much easier. Okay, now another thing to know about this mod is that you can do this, but you can also move it up and down. So you have this elevate key and this chooses where you want to put it. So if you do, for example, 0 0.1, that's going to raise it 0 0.1 which is actually quite a big jump. I don't recommend using whole numbers for this because it's just gonna go really high up or really, really low down. As you can see just there, I done minus one and that just made it go all the way down here. It's just, yeah, I don't recommend using big numbers. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we are using um, just smaller numbers so that it's sitting in a big 
position. Now, if you do make a mistake, you can undo, you can redo. So don't worry about that. If you accidentally put it in the wrong place like this, that's absolutely fine. You can just put it back. Now, this is completely functional in the sense that it doesn't get in the way of anything. You can still put your cover in there and it just looks super cute and it looks so much better than just using the default windows. Another way a lot of people like to place their windows is by first placing a wall in front. Um, this just helps you to position the window before you actually put it into the wall. So for this, all you'd want to do is take your window and put it on this side and then you can use that scoop method that we used before and you can just alt and then click and it will you know kind of click it into place this does take a little bit longer though but um this is kind of if you want it to be a little bit more precise there is another way you can do it and you can actually just move objects between minus 25 and 25 and then it will show up with all of these kind of x and y's if this is how you'd rather do it and you want it to be a little bit more specific then by all means do it this way and then you can also just rotate however you want now there is a scale option but obviously with the sims 4 scaling is a little bit awkward so when you scale things it doesn't really work it just kind of glitches out so i wouldn't recommend scaling with windows but with other objects absolutely it works just as it should yeah that is the tutorial hopefully that helped and let me know if there's anything else you would want a tutorial on to do with tissued nexus mods and once again i really recommend their mods they're absolutely amazing so make sure to go over and download them there will be a link in the description to their page where they have tons of mods that you can install if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye